I think everyone's talking about data journalism at the moment because they recognise it's um, some very exciting stories coming out of it. I think we saw in the UK right back when the MP expenses scandal, that was driven by data that the tel Telegraph got hold of and went through and processed in a, a way that produced a, a, a story after fantastic story. We've seen more and more examples after that of, of really great stories which have been driven by getting all the data, cleaning it up, um, parsing it, understanding it and presenting it um, in an interesting way. So um, I think data journalism is clearly a, a really interesting tool. It's uh, also a tool that's native to uh, the digital world. It's something, it's, it's a new piece of journalism. Maybe using some of the skills of the past, um, drawing on some of the traditions of quality journalism and heavy research, but adding a kind of digital spin to it, which um, journalists find exciting and readers are, are, are leaping on as well. I think in terms of understanding the audience's reaction to some of this stuff, um, for me the BBC showed themselves to be uh, really leading the way in understanding how their audience thinks, and this is true right across their outputs. It's not necessarily a huge surprise. But it's also important as publishers in this country are making a big investment in staffing at a time you know, when, when, let's face it, the industry is challenged in so many different ways. If they're investing in data journalism, it also appears that they're paying attention to what that journalism is delivering for them. And so they're measuring not just simple page views or a number of uniques that look at it over the course of a period of time, but also what it's doing in terms of engagement and um, how users are reacting to uh, what they're putting up. I think one of the big challenges for publishers wanting to publish more on you know, using data and wrangling with this stuff is the huge level of technical expertise that's required to really make it really make it fly. Some things are more simple than others. Um, Kevin Anderson gave some great examples of how you might wrangle data using um, tools that are available freely from Google. But I think we saw very clearly from um, Alex Grail of The Guardian and from others that actually to, to really make this stuff fly, you need quite a lot of technical skill. And that's not necessarily stuff that's um, hanging around the newsroom right now waiting to be deployed. That either has to be bought in or trained up. I think one of the things we're seeing is that more and more journalists uh, have the inclination to delve into this world. So you're beginning to see a kind of hybrid journalist programmers. And that was defined... Um, at this event, really, as journalists who have started to dabble in programming, who are really trying to understand the principles there and maybe do a few lines of code, but that gives them great understanding, which means, of course, they can talk to specialists much more um, easily and have a more productive discussion with people who really know what they're doing when it comes to coding. Um, but we're also seeing, coming out of new courses out of universities, a new generation of journalists, or indeed a new gener generation of programmers who are interested in journalism and who want to do good bits of journalism, understand the social need and the value of fantastic journalism, uh, important journalism that exposes things through the use of data. And so perhaps a mixture of these different uh, approaches is, some, uh, is going to be something that we want to, um, as editors and publishers, we're going to want to really focus on the years ahead.